Hey guys, I'm gonna be doing a full walkthrough of the Milia Cayo Coco Resort in Cuba. It's an adult only resort. Uh, it's about 10, 15 minutes away from Cayo Coco Airport. Uh, it is on the northeast side of Cuba and uh, very convenient to be that close to the airport. We haven't heard any pl planes fly over uh, unless it's the mosquito plane that flies over maybe twice a week. kind of like dusts the area and, and helps prevent mosquitoes. But let's do this full walkthrough. It's gonna be a long video, so I'll grab something to drink, grab yourself a mojito maybe, and uh, enjoy this walkthrough. If we have any music in the background, uh, I will have to replace it with my own non-copyrighted music. So this is the main entrance. This is how you would come in by bus. And it's a full open lobby. And uh, we are actually staying in this villa uh, it's the executive suites and there's one two three four five six of them and there's two units there's a bottom unit and a top unit and then there's other units over there that have like six they're called junior suites and then some of the other buildings will have eight units per building all right so beautiful entranceway into this amazing resort uh, when you come in by bus they usually have a band playing and uh, they give out a free, probably non-alcoholic drink. And then they have this lounging area for people to sit. You can, uh, this is where you would check in. You can exchange money. Uh, what we discovered, uh, if you are Canadian, just bring a lot of $5 bills and then you never have to ask them to change them. So tipping a $5 to a person here for a bunch of drinks is pretty good. Uh, down here you've got shops. This is uh, this is more of the lounging area. They also will do shows here once in a while. There's the lobby bar. There used to be a disco up here, but it's not running at the moment. Uh, the washrooms are just down that hallway. This is the area outside that is for the people that want to smoke their cigars, cigarettes. You're not allowed to smoke inside this area. So down here are one store, two, three. So of course they sell all the types of trinkets, souvenirs, hats, dresses. Over here is alcohol and cigars. Right now they're doing the COVID tests here. So uh, 70 hours, 72 hours before you have to go, you have to get tested. Well, they will not let you back into Canada if you're from Canada. I'm not sure about other countries. And this was a really cool find. Um, this place is the billiard. Uh, there's two billiard tables, uh, darts, and they have a patio outside on the lagoon side and your own private bar. So uh, if you're in the lobby, usually a lot of people are ordering stuff in there and it takes a while to get your drinks. But if you come here and hang out, you can get your drinks really quickly. And down that way are three more stores. Again, this is the Lagoon Executive Suites. Uh, they usually have a very large tarp above here, uh, but they take it down during hurricane season. And hurricane season is over. So they are going to be putting it up right now. As you can see, they have the, the big kind of umbrella that they strap up and around, but it is not installed yet because the guy hasn't showed up to put it in. So we're headed back to the lobby. I'm shooting this on my GoPro and I don't have a wind screen for it. So if there's any wind issues, I apologize. Again, I just love this entrance. My wife and I stayed at another resort and visited this one for the day and then fell in love with it. And uh, this is our first full vacation here and we will be coming back. We've met people that have been coming here for 20 years. That's how good this place is. Uh, they have a piano uh, over here. So they have entertainment pretty much daily. You can get your uh, coffees, uh, they make an amazing latte, so I had a latte every single morning. And then we're now getting into the pool area. Again, all full open concept. Let's just show you the layout of the land. 
So this is the main entrance. This is the villa that we are staying in. And then you have lots of pods. And then there's even more. Uh, these are the junior suites. That was the billiard hall. We're going to enter the pool area. They have three walkways out to the beach. There's a restaurant here, two restaurants here. And what, what is behind me is this is the buffet. And uh, it is open for breakfast from 7.30 a.m. to 10. And uh, there's the rest of the times for you. Right now they're just getting shut down from breakfast. They're gonna be setting up eventually for lunch and it's a lot of seating areas. They have a, a, a middle section that's usually like desserts and stuff for lunch and supper. Uh, and then in the, in the morning it's um, fresh fruit and things. They have omelet bars, fresh fish, and they'll cook it to, uh, for you as you would like. Whatever you want, they'll make it. Again, more sitting areas. Over here we have an outdoor shower if you want to shower off after coming in from the beach. Although there's showers down by the beach. You got uh, the chessboard. And they've got nice water features. They have an upper area where we'll walk around there if we have time. Coconut trees everywhere. And one of my favorite things are these cabanas cabana huts and if you get down here early enough uh, you can get one of them and then there's also larger ones on the other side but this area the pool is very shallow for uh, volleyball and then it gets probably about four and a half feet deep and that's as deep as it gets I guess we'll do a, a quick walk around this way again let us know in the comments below if you've been here before and if I miss anything Please add it to the comments, that would be great. And we'll help each other out for our people who want to come here and are interested. But it's just stunning. That is the theater and they have pretty much shows every single night. Uh, over on that side, probably the build, little building on the right is where you can exchange your towels. I'm not sure if you can exchange them every day, but uh, if your towel gets soaking wet and you need a new dry one, you can go give them the soaking wet one, they'll give you another one. I love this little walkway around the pool with this water feature on the left. Is this a seating area basically? It's not like a whirlpool or anything. And sometimes they'll have like aerobics and things in the pool. Uh, this is the wellness center where you can get massages and things. That's extra, you have to pay for that. Uh, this is another bar. That is a restaurant we ate there. That's one of the ones you have to schedule. The Again, the um, buffet is open three times a day and you can get food anytime there. Then this bar down here, there are fish and turtles and things in here. So this bar is a 24 hour bar and I think you can get food there 24 hours a day. Here's some of those other buildings. This is a, a pod, four rooms in there, four rooms, four rooms. So again, you can order food here any time of the day. They have pizza, burgers, fries, uh, and of course your open bar. This is, this is an all-inclusive, so all you can drink, all you can eat. Except, and then you have to buy things like scuba or if you want to go on any excursions, all that's extra. We're going to be heading down to the beach and uh, it might get a little windy for us. You know what, I'm just going to take you up here. So apparently for the people that have been here before, they'll tell you that this was, used to be the Italian restaurant, but it's changed now. And this is so it's the Mediterranean. And the food was quite good. It's like a five course meal, starters, appetizers, main course, dessert, etc. So this is a nice little aerial view that I can get for you. Beautiful beach, little grass huts to sit under to keep you shaded from the 
very very hot sun and right now they're getting a pig ready for the pig roast this is saturday so every saturday they have a pig roast again here are these walkways above the mangrove it's a nice elevated view of this beautiful hotel and well, there's the upper deck that I was showing you. They're actually working on it. I think the uh, gazebo thingy on the right, they're pouring new concrete. This place did get damaged pretty badly from one of the last hurricanes that went through here. Some of the hotels, like the one next door, they never ever uh, decided to fix that up. It's called the Sol. But they fixed this one up and it looks pretty much the same as when my wife and I were visiting two years ago. So again, Sorry about the wind. Lots of nice little walkways. There are some uh, wild cats, but they're uh, very friendly and will come to you at dinner time sometimes and want a little piece of chicken. They do have another upgrade that you can purchase, which is uh, dinner on the beach for two. And they use that little gazebo there. My wife and I will be doing that. And this is Marco, and he is, he is the awesome. He is awesome, and he is the manager of this facility. So I have to come back down here for lunch and do that pig roast. They have two tennis courts. If you're into tennis, they're refinishing one of them. Again, got damaged. Apparently, many years ago, this was like 10 to 20 feet high of mangrove. These buildings could not see the ocean because it was so high but I think the hurricane wiped this out, but now it's on its way back, but I kind of like it at this height. Uh, if they could maintain that height, then that would be great. This is uh, the Cuban, and we ate here last night. Food, once again, was fantastic. Uh, so they'll do lunch buffet and uh, dinner. Uh, so the lunch buffet here, again, is, is not an extra thing. It's just another place you can have your uh, lunch. So right now they're doing a pig roast for lunch today. Apparently they just added this on not too long ago. This wasn't here before. So I guess that got really busy all the time. So they added this on, which is nice. They have the, put up the uh, umbrellas. Over here. We have the showers, so when you're coming off, want to wash that salt water off, then you can do that there. It looks like they're going to either take a whole lot of people out. That's the first time I've seen all the boats out. They're usually down the beach somewhere. So either it's they're going to teach people how to sail, which I think it's exactly what it looks like. Anyway, uh, over here we've got all the seating area there, all the seating area over there. We got beach volleyball. They have uh, staff always coming around asking if you want to play games and stuff and they try to get everybody together and, and have some uh, some outdoor activities help work off some of that cervezas that you've been drinking all day long so yeah, this is another outdoor bar this is the area uh, we've sat here quite a few times uh, this is probably one of the nicer days. Uh, yesterday was the nicest day, not even as windy as this, so it was very calm. But uh, as long as the sun is shining, I'm happy. I don't care if it's windy. Over here, we've got the outdoor bar. I get a lot of Canadians come here and they bring down their Canadian license plates and things and they hang them on the wall. I got Quebec. Don't worry about the Habs, but uh, <laughs> they got Blue Jays and stuff over there in Manitoba. Let us know in the comments below, what do you think of this little walkthrough? Every place I go to, I'm gonna make sure I do a full walkthrough, no editing. If I make a mistake, I make a mistake. But at least you guys can actually feel what it's like to be here without any editing and, and 
misunderstanding of how it looks like again we just walked around this building and came back on this pathway uh, so again here's eight unit buildings some people got great view I saw a hawk on this tree this morning which was really cool so we'll attempt to walk quickly it is quite a small resort but the grounds are just beautiful if you uh, see a maintenance person sometimes you just give them a buck they'll uh, cut down a coconut for you and uh, add a little rum in there for you and away you go apparently the yellow coconuts are sweeter than the big green ones so here's the tennis courts and that's the sports uh, building straight ahead and they they used to have archery I'm not sure what the other two ranges were for maybe it was all archery but uh, I don't think they're doing archery right now they'll also let you uh, do some boxing I'm not sure what this used to be it could have been a shuffleboard but they have some games here you can get get work out your frustrations they have uh, I'm not sure exactly what this game is called but they have the foosball ding ding <laughs> so this one's not bad They'll, they might refinish that area they got a uh, chess table there ping pong over here and this is the sports club they have the air hockey we got some exercise stuff another little lounging area like i said air hockey again they're refinishing that with this gizmo i saw them working it the other day it's going to take a while i couldn't imagine working that machine in this heat it is hot uh, it is actually 26 degrees celsius and uh, a little bit humid yesterday was probably the least humid day it was so nice right now I'm starting to sweat because I'm trying to walk through here as quickly as I can to show you the whole the whole area I'm also trying to keep this video under 20 minutes uh, here are the ladies doing the uh, cleaning your rooms again every once in a while you'll see a cat lying around there's a couple black ones a few tabbies it's like being on vacation isn't it to sit back with your majito your cerveza enjoy watching this walk around hoping i'm doing a good job for you guys i think next time i'm going to bring a stabilizer the GoPro does a pretty good job, but not as good as a stabilizer. So this was our room when we first arrived, but the uh, the management really loved the fact that I was sharing everything on my social media and my YouTube. And uh, so they upgraded us and uh, do the, did the dinner for two on the beach. So this keeps going around, as you saw on the map at the beginning. I'm gonna take you over here it's just another feature i'm not sure what this building is i'm guessing i'm going to ask the people who have been here many many times you can see this whole area got ripped up and the tree got knocked over obviously from a hurricane and uh that's pushed the concrete right back and the crack is just all filled in with grass but uh anybody who's been here multiple times if they could tell us what this building was it's possible it's just a maintenance building but it kind of looks like it was a bar at one time so they have this like walk walking path that probably used to have the trellis thing on top but you know as you can see it's all broken off i haven't had time to repair it so it's almost like the maintenance guys can come in here and then store stuff in here but it almost looks like it was a nice little bar at one time way over here is a little garden and people order 
mojitos all the time. So instead of buying mint and bringing it in and paying for it, they just grow their own. And so they have their own mint garden, watering it constantly. And then every once in a while, a maintenance person will come here, grab a whole bunch of mint, bring it back to one of the bars that's running low. They also have banana trees. So every, every once in a while, they get free bananas on their, from their own crop. I'm sure this may have been possibly a good area for like weddings and wedding procession, I'm guessing. So these are possibly the Junior Street Suites. And this is the Lagoon View. So this is, uh, this is facing east. If you really like to watch uh, sunrises, these are the ones you probably want to be at. Uh, and then there's some other ones facing that way and they would get all the sunsets. I've watched the sunrise from ours, but uh, we're just far enough away from the ocean that we don't get that sun coming up. We can't see the horizon from where we are. We met a lot of people on this trip from Hamilton, Bob Cajun, Peterborough, uh, Kitchener, London, it was a, a really good trip for meeting people. Everybody did their email exchanges. Everybody was super friendly and they were in these ones. So I took a picture of the mosquito plane. It's, a, it's a, like an old biplane that just uh, does like a mosquito spray uh, possibly twice, twice a week. The first time it happened, I was like, what is going on? And I did do it at like 6, 6.30 in the morning. So if you get up early, you, you can watch it. I wouldn't stand outside while they're doing it. But uh, yeah, these are all the junior suites. And there's the uh, first class area, I guess you call it. The executive suites. Hola. Super friendly staff. They also have these everywhere. And uh, if you're walking around with a glass, you just put your glass in there. Maintenance people come, staff, they'll pick them up. And that way people hopefully don't drop their glass or just leave it on the side and then people trip on it. Lots of buildings, nicely spaced apart, beautiful grounds. You can just look at the map uh, probably online and uh, see where you would like to stay. There's no real beachfront properties, um, but there are the ones that are closest to the beach. If that's the kind of thing you like to do, then book over there. We are closest to the lobby area, which has come in handy. We kind of liked, I think anywhere in here would be totally fine. Also, I'd love to know what kind of tree this is with a big fat tummy. Looks like a snake has swallowed its meal. I was kind of hoping we'd see one of the cats. I also learned a new word, gato, or gato, and that's cat in Spanish. Didn't know that before. This is called the, uh, another restaurant. This is called the uh, International. We were supposed to eat there tonight, uh, and I've heard a lot of good things about it. They have a nice little display of shells. That's the menu. It's in uh, English, Spanish, or Fr I think it's French. So I think yeah, English, probably French, and um, Russian. Those are the probably the most spoken languages here. And uh, it's on the lagoon. Again, that's our place. It's kind of or reoriented to you guys. That's the billiard place. Junior Suites. I 
again just a lot of work making it look as pretty as possible there's a maintenance worker keeping that down with a very long machete So I guess there you have it. I've pretty much gone around full circle. <laughs> I am sweating like crazy. Oh, there's not, not, not people standing in front of here. I can kind of give you a quick little tour. So there's the pool tables. Two pool tables, darts, and your own, your own private bar. A couple nights it was busy, but uh, most nights, not that busy and like I said you can get your drinks quickly if you check out my vlog channel and uh, this playlist this video will be in a playlist and uh, in that playlist uh, you can see the tour of, of our suite so thank you very much for hanging out with me today and uh, let me know in the comments in, in, uh, below everywhere we go you want to see a walkthrough like this yes or no talk to you guys later